What's up everybody? Welcome back to another mod pack. That's right guys, we are actually playing some more modded Minecraft. It's been a little bit of time since we ended the last pack, Project Ozone 3 Kappa mode, but I'm ready to play something new. As you can see, we're in a skyblock world here. Yep, we're on a little 3x3 thing of grass, some dirt underneath us, bedrock below that, one single tree. Mm -hmm. So this pack is called Sky Bees. Uh, this pack is different from other packs, and that's what's got me interested in it, where you collect all of your resources from bees. They're using the vanilla bees. Um, we search for bees here. Yeah, so it's like the vanilla bees, but like as a modded version of them. <laughs> so they produce some other things. I don't really know too much about this, so we'll figure this out as we go. But that's like the main way that we get resources. Uh, so this mod pack does have... Uh, a vein mine like thing called FTB Ulta Mine. So you can see when I press um, the grave key there, it says Ulta Mine is active. So I can punch the tree and then all of the connected logs break. And we get saplings and apples and so on from the leaves despawning. It's also got the torque mod where you can twerk to uh, get trees to grow. So let's do this. It's a little bit different <laughs> with the, the crouch where you actually lower by like half a block as opposed to the past, but you know, that's how this is played now. So let's do a little bit of this action. I'm going to, first of all, make myself a crook so we can get extra saplings and some silkworms off these leaves. Okay, and then we can just punch this tree down using <laughs> this clay bucket because what else would we use? <laughs> Okay, cool. So yeah, we got some silkworms, we got extra saplings, so we're not gonna run out of those. And uh, yeah, the crook doesn't have very much durability. So if I wanna get more saplings and more things like that, I definitely, definitely want to make sure that I make uh, more crooks. So when I vein mine the leaves, we get more stuff. Yeah, so pretty much uh, this pack has been updated recently. Uh, it originally had the thing where you could right click the ground or whatever and get pebbles and make cobblestone or whatever But that's no longer the case uh, I don't really know <laughs> how it's been changed and what the progression is so we're gonna figure this out together But first things first, let's build up this platform just a little bit. It's a little, a little cramped here I'll go out like three blocks. I think something like this on all sides. So let me do that real quick. All right, well, there's all my planks placed, but I didn't have enough to like complete the platform. So here we are again, doing a little bit more stuff. Uh, I think we can just W click those in there, combine them, get a little bit more durability. Okay, there we go. And then I'll probably combine these as well. Uh, can, oh, you can't S click, but you can W kill, click. Interesting. Okay. Uh, vein mine this away, and that should probably give us enough planks, I think, to finish up what we're doing here. Oh, maybe not. That was only a four log tree. We'll see. Whoop, I placed one too low. Now, I don't, do I have enough? Oh, I do have enough, awesome. Okay, so now we got our platform done. So probably the next thing we wanna do is yet more more trees here. Uh, we're gonna wanna get ourselves like a chest so we can store this extra stuff that we're gathering and try and get ourselves a little organized, I would imagine. So let's just make ourselves, there's a single chest here and we'll start putting some stuff in here that we don't really need. So this does have a quest book, and you can bind that to a key, which I have bound to Z. Uh, so this is question mark, exclamation point, <laughs> exclamation mark, uh, an expert mod pack, maybe? I'm not actually sure if this is or is not. It seems like they're questioning themselves. It has ore excavation like we talked about. Apparently there's some Easter eggs. There's some tips, bugs, ideas, quest rewards, sky pack, progression. Uh, I've gone through and I've noticed that there is some <laughs> spelling mistakes and weird capitalization in the quest book. Uh, you don't really get any rewards for completing the quest. These are mostly just kind of to guide you and what you're supposed to do. Um, so this wants me to have 32 oak logs or at least obtain up to 32. I'm not sure if it's counting that, if I've had 13 at once. If I need half a stack, well, I think we probably need to do that. So let me go ahead, grow a whole bunch of trees and we will get 32 logs in my inventory. All right, well, with this tree here, this should do what we're looking for. This should give us the full 32 and complete that quest. And there it is, 32 oak log quest complete. So that was having a total of 32, not just having a cumulative amount. Anyway, 
Uh, so that's complete. Wants us to do a crafting table. We're already ahead of the game here. Let me go ahead and punch this and put in my inventory. We'll actually move it over here by the uh, chest. So that's complete. Uh, Cork's complete. Sapling's complete. Looks like... It says oak sapling. Oh, okay. I was like, it says oak sapling, but it showed the uh, silkworm there. So now it wants us to get string. So if you've played one of these skyblock mod packs before with X and I hello in it, we know that we just take a tree and we pop some silkworms in there. You only need one, but I'm just going to help speed this up. And we have plenty of these. Um, yeah, you pop some silkworms in there and infest the leaves. And then as they get infested, they spread to the next leaves nearby. And start infesting those in after about a minute all of the leaves are infested okay um so i'm noticing that my hunger is a little low right now we got some bread and we're also getting some apples here uh i don't know is there like an apple tree or is there something we can do with these there's an apple sprout from cyclic apple growing on a leaf i wonder if this is something that we can do and then uh twerk yeah, it looks like we can do a honey apple. Ooh, that's a really good food. Look at that, 20 saturation. Almost full hunger haunches too. That's really good. Um, That might be something we do. It looks like that's probably gonna be pretty easy, especially since this pack is based around bees. So this might be our food <laughs> late game, or I guess mid game or something. All right, I wanna try this though, apple sprout. Let's see what that does. Apples growing on a leaf. We'll do that on the next tree after this finishes. Is this done? It looks like it's done. So we're going to want to crook these so we get extra string and silkworms. All right. So we got 52 string. Very good. We'll punch this down. I am kind of curious how the cyclic apple sprouts work. So let's give that a try. All right. If I place this right here and I twerk. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Now the question is, after this grows, can I harvest it and then just keep doing that over and over again? Oh, is that not done? Is this fully grown? No tool. Um, okay, so I break it, then I get the apple sprout back again. Ah, so it's not as like cheaty and overpowered as I've seen in the past where you grow an apple tree or whatever, and you just twerk it and you right click and you keep twerking and keep right clicking. All right, well, that's fine, that's fine. At least we have a way to duplicate apples and we know about that now, so that's cool. Um, it is becoming nighttime, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a bed. We have plenty of string to make wool and plenty of wood to make ourselves a bed. So we'll do this and sleep away the night. All right, so I have been spending some time here growing some more trees and expanding out <laughs> our little area here you can see where our chests initially were We've expanded up three more blocks beyond that and i added another chest so all of our tree related stuff is in this chest over here everything else is in this chest which i guess apple sprouts probably could go over here but whatever anyway i just wanted to try and keep things a little bit more organized so let's move on to one of the next quests here so string mesh looks like this will be our next one uh, it wants us to craft a string mesh, which is really easy. That is just nine strings. So we can grab nine string, do one of these, and there we go. Quest complete. Awesome. Okay, so that's done. Uh, we can't do this yet because I think you have to do this barrel, then the dirt, and then we can get to the sieve. I think that's how that works. Or maybe we have to do the dirt, the mesh, and then like come up this way. Yeah, I don't really know. Anyway. So barrels next, so let's do that. We can do a stone barrel or a wood barrel. And I think uh, the wood barrel is pretty easy. Yeah, just some planks and a slab. So we can go ahead and knock that out. So there's slab, this, one of those, boom, done. Okay, now I'm not sure how we're getting water in this pack. I assume, you know what happens when you assume, I assume we have to wait until it rains, which means I can't sleep, which means I might've screwed things up by sleeping. Uh, I suppose it can rain, I guess there's a chance every night for it to start raining like after you sleep, so maybe we'll get lucky this night and it will rain, I don't really know how that all works, so we'll figure it out together. Dirt is the next thing. So in order to get dirt, we're supposed to compost and I guess we put that into a wood barrel. Alright, well we can do that. Uh, so we can compost a lot of different things it looks like here. Uh, saplings, so we have a bunch of saplings we can throw in there. What is this? 
that gives you uh 125 out of 1000 what else do we have here cooked silkworms mushrooms bread bread gives you 160 out of 1000 fish silkworms eggs uh-huh well oh, that goes off the screen <laughs> that's a little weird looks like all the different minecraft flower types and then this one is carrot i suppose all right apples i don't know if i want to get rid of apples spider eyes round flesh so there's a lot of ways to like dispose of essentially useless items which is cool uh string we can get rid of too and string is easily accessible same thing with the um silkworm so i guess we'll put some silkworms in maybe some string we'll try and get ourselves our first portion of dirt here some silkworms string i guess they're about the same don't really know okay and now we're getting these particle effects showing that something is happening very good and that should just turn into a dirt there it is awesome okay so we got ourselves one whole dirt and oh that does unlock the sieve okay very good so now to make a sieve we have to do planks sticks and slab well we have slabs we have planks we just need some sticks Caps lock is on, turn that off. All right, so there is the sieve. Awesome. Okay, and then you put the string mesh in the sieve. Sweet. So that's gonna get us ready to start sieving things. So flint mesh, uh, saplings, ancient spores, ah, pebbles to cobblestone. This is how we do it. So pebbles, okay, so we sift dirt to get pebbles. Uh-huh, so it looks like we're gonna need a lot of dirt to make pebbles. Um, so that's gonna get us into doing the dust and clay and gravel, looks like. Okay, where else are we going here? There's a dirt generator. How do you make a dirt generator? So in order to make this, shift for more information, generate one dirt every generation cycle of 40 ticks. Okay, so one dirt every two seconds. Uh, so we can make a dirt generator, but we need a water bucket, a lava bucket, six dirt, and a piece of glass. So we aren't quite there yet, but that's cool to know that there is a way we'll just be able to generate dirt in the future. I like it. Um, so our next quest, what should we do here? There's a beehive and a buzzing doll. What's a beehive frame? So that sticks around string. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Beehive frame. This guy. Okay, so there's another quest done. That is going to take us over to the beehive, which is looks like there's two different recipes. You can use honeycomb, which we don't have, and three beehive frames and some planks, which we do have. Okay, so let's make two more of those. All right, and then some planks, like a so. Awesome. Quest complete, beehive. Uh, oh, this one actually gives us stuff. Flower, flower, and this book. What's that book? That book is 50 Shades of Bees. <laughs> okay. 50 Shades of Bees, first edition. Welcome, resourceful beekeeper. This guide is much less filled with bee erotica than it is information about beekeeping. We hope that it serves you well in understanding the basics. Be basics. In this section, you will learn about basic information about beekeeping topics covered include how and where bees spawn, how bees can be bred, what bee traits are and why they are important, and how resourceful bees can mutate blocks into other blocks. Oh, these can mutate blocks. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm not going to read the entire book uh, on camera with you guys. I'll probably just go through this on my own. So let's go ahead and start putting some of this stuff up. All right, put these away. Very good. Okay, is there another quest that we can work on? So buzzing doll requires us to have yellow dye, a uh, poppy, a porcelain doll. So in order to do porcelain, we're gonna need emerald and diamond. I don't think we're quite there yet. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and 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 go with that. I don't think we're quite there yet. So let's see, flint mesh is our next task. So let's see what the differences are on these meshes. Oh, there's a water log sieve. Sand, you can get sea pickle egg and kelp. Interesting. 
All right, let's actually look at the uses on the sieve, and that should show us all the different meshes, I think. So with a string mesh, we can take leaves and get saplings. We can do soul sand, uh, sand to get cocoa beans. Okay, so there's a lot of different things here. It looks like you can get golden apples from sifting leaves on the string mesh. Birch leaves, frosty blossom leaves, lots of different types of leaves, it looks like. All right, very cool. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go through this and see if anything stands out to me and then figure out what our next task should be. Okay, so going through JEI here, I want to make a correction. I was saying that we would have to capture water from a raining, uh, but it looks like we can put leaves into a crucible, at least a wooden crucible. I don't know. If, maybe you can do it on this one, too. Um... Yeah, so you put leaves in there. It looks like four leaves will get you one bucket of water. Okay, looks like you can also do saplings. So maybe we can just do saplings straight up and get water right now. Okay, you know what? I think I'm good with that. So let's try and do this. So I need to get myself four logs. Logs, planks, sticks. Do I need a slab in there? I don't know. I'll grab everything. Uh, so we'll do that. This, this guy, one of those. Just one. Okay, and then we put four saplings in there and we should get water? It won't let me put the fourth one in there. Why not? I could put three in there. Uh, did that require a heat source? Uses crucible heat source. Oh, maybe it requires a torch in order for that to work. Okay, well, it looked like we could do that, but now I'm second guessing if we can. Um, mm hmm. Well, we don't have a way to make a torch, I don't think. Unless there's an easy way to do that. Let's take a look at the recipes real quick. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need charcoal. And in order to do that, we need some kind of way to smelt. So we need a furnace, which means we. Can't do that yet until we get to cobblestone. Well, I think our first progression here, like it shows in the quest book, is for us to start getting dirt and sifting dirt. It looks like we can do things with other sorts of pebbles that we'll get from doing that. We get the regular pebbles that we can turn to cobblestone. Plus, it looks like we'll also be able to get things that will turn into andesite, diorite, and granite. And those can be used to make stone tools and other such things. So they aren't pointless in modded Minecraft. Okay. Uh, so first time sifting, let's do this. I think we can probably put multiple sieves next to each other. Okay, so we're getting pebbles. It looks like it was two of the, uh, these pebbles. The stone pebbles are guaranteed. And then you get like a 50% chance at one and a 20% chance at two or it was something like that anyway. So you can get up to like five of them per dirt, but it's unlikely. Okay, so we ended up getting dark oak seed, cactus seed, sweet berry seed, ancient spores, some melon seeds, acacia, spruce, pumpkin, and then a whole variety, oh, also wheat seeds, and then a whole variety of these other ones, diorite, andesite, granite, and then 24 stone pebbles. So those can be turned into cobblestone. I think that's probably our first thing. Oh, we get one piece of cobblestone for that quest too. Uh, so let's see. I think what we're going to want to do is to make charcoal and then make torches, right? I think that's probably, yeah, this wants us to make charcoal. Fired Crucible wants us to make porcelain clay, which we need bone meal for. Okay, and then bone meal. Can we just get that the vanilla way with the composter? You can sieve for it, but we need dust. Yeah, we might have to do... Hmm, okay, well, let me go ahead and just play around with this a little bit and we'll be right back. Aha, well, it just started raining like right as I ended that clip and these barrels are filling with water, so this is a way that we can get water instead of doing it with the uh, wooden crucible over here. So yeah, it looks like we have a full thing of water. Can I right click this? No. Uh, this clay bucket is unfired. I think I have to smelt this clay bucket in order to take the water out. We need the fired clay. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, so I guess our next stop is to make ourselves a furnace. So I'll continue on with this process. 
Well, thankfully it turned nighttime and I was able to sleep to get rid of the rain. I did end up putting some planks over some more wooden barrels that I made to prevent them from filling with water so I could actually put stuff in them while I was waiting for nighttime anyway. Uh, so we got ourselves our furnace now. Yeah, we have two additional cobblestone. Uh, so I guess the first thing we need to do is to make some charcoal so we can start smelting things, right? So... That, this... I think that'll be just fine. And then we can swap out the, uh, the planks here for the piece of charcoal to smelt up more wood to make more charcoal, etc, etc. Whoop. Oh, did the game just crash? Nope, there was a huge lag spike though. That was really weird. I wonder why that was. Anyway, so we'll just go ahead and throw those in there, make a whole lot of charcoal, and while that's going, I need to grow some more trees so we have more logs. Okay, to be fair, I wasn't giving these apple sprouts that much credit before. These are actually pretty good. I'm up to 54 apples, and I get the apple sprouts back every time, and you can do multiple at a time, right? So you can see my hunger is looking pretty pretty bad right now. That's what got me uh, thinking about food. <laughs> so yeah, these are fully grown, so we're at the 54. Actually, let me just go ahead and throw all these apples in here. So if I harvest these... We get 12, so it looks like you get two apples per apple sprout, and you get the original apple sprouts back every time. So that's not bad, that's unlimited food, right? Yeah, so I don't feel feel bad at all about eating apples. I was kind of wondering if we should hold on to them and turn them into the honey apples or whatever, but this is gonna be just fine. Plenty of food, don't have to worry about that at all, that's great. All right, uh, so our furnace has been doing what it's doing, charcoal, so we can take that out and make our first torch, which is part of the next quest, right? So we needed that, and then we needed the fire crucible. I don't think we're gonna be able to do this today. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out how to get this bone meal and this kind of stuff. I think we'll hold off on that until next time. I mean, obviously we can take cobblestone, hammer it down into dust and then sift that, you get a 20% chance. Yeah, it might be better doing the compost. The composter method here. Does this show like what you can do with it? It doesn't really say. I know that's a vanilla thing where you put items in the composter and then you get bone meal. This might be the best way of going about it. I don't know. But guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you leave any tips or tricks that you guys have if you've played this pack before in the comments down below. But yeah, that's it. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.